Matt, the mortgage guy here. Today's video, mortgage loan estimate explained, refinance edition. I say refinance edition because there's going to be slight variations on what you're going to look for in a refinance versus what you're going to look for in a purchase. So in this video, loan estimate, I'm going to go through it line by line. If you've got a loan estimate of your own, and that's why you looked up this information online, then, then take that out and I'll kind of go through it. I'll do what I can to add some B-roll to this video and hover over certain parts so that I can answer questions specific to this document. All lenders are required to use this document. So when your initial disclosures go out, the numbers you're looking for in that package of 80 things that you're going to e-sign is the loan estimate. As you get closer to close, the closing disclosure, the CD, is going to be issued. It's the same exact format. It's just a little bit closer towards, towards closing. So first and foremost, loan estimate, you're going to get it. It's going to be three pages. The front page is going to look like so, and it's going to have all the pertinent information, the lender at the top left, the date it was issued, your name, your address, uh, the property address, the estimated property value. And then on the right, you can read things like it's a 30 year term, it's a refinance, it's a fixed rate, it's conventional. An important thing to look at on the top right, if you're talking to somebody and they're talking to you about rates and then you call me and say, hey, I got this deal and I say, well, is it locked or is it unlocked? It's gonna tell you up here if it's locked, yes or no. And if it is, what date? Is it locked until? In this case, this thing was dated April 10th, 410, and it says, yes, it's locked until May 11th. So you know that this rate that we're quoting and all the terms here are locked in. It's not something where we sent the disclosures out and you're waiting to decide whether or not you lock. So loan amount, interest rate, monthly principal and interest, all this stuff is pretty straightforward on this page. You'll want to look towards the middle where it breaks down your projected payments and it tells you not only principal and interest, but any mortgage insurance, estimated escrow, which is tax and insurance, the account that holds that, and, and your total monthly payment. So it says whether or not the tax and insurance are escrowed, and it says, you know, in escrow, yes, yes. Then at the bottom, it's got costs at closing, and it tells you the total. It calls it estimated closing costs, but really it's a, it's a loan cost and other costs. And I'll explain that more when we get into page two on, on why those are separated and why it's important to kind of understand which is which, but it's the total amount. More likely than not, when we're talking refinance, this $6,200 is not something you're paying out of pocket. It's something that the payoff of your old loan plus this new amount is what your new loan amount is gonna be. So the very last line on page one is estimated cash to close. In this case, it says $137, but it's not even from the borrower, it's to the borrower. So the way this one is structured, at close, borrower's getting $137 back. All right, we'll move on to page two. And if you've got a loan estimate in front of you, great. Box A, which says, which is the first box under loan cost, is probably the most important one for you to look at, especially if you are trying to figure out what type of deal a specific lender is giving you. Because any charges from the lender are going to be in that box A. All other boxes, we're talking about B, C, D, E, F, G, H, are all third-party fees, tax and insurance setup, payments to title, all that. Loan charges in Section A are the only thing that's controlled by the lender. So especially if you're looking at lender versus lender, oh, what about this deal? What about that deal? Forget about everything else except for box A. And in box A, in my box A on this example, I've got 1055 underwriting fee. There's a blank where it says percentage of loan amount and in parentheses points if you were paying points. And if you're unfamiliar with paying points, look up a video on that. But in this case, 355 loan amount, if it said one point and $3,550 being charged for this rate, then that was where that would be. On, on my estimate, there's nothing there. But any you know, admin, underwriting, processing, any lender fee is in that box A. Box B, services you cannot shop for. This is where the appraisal fee, the credit report fee, flood certification, tax certification. Keep in mind that even if an appraisal isn't needed, since we're talking refinances in this video, it's gonna show up there. And it will continue to show up on your loan estimate until final docs are out. You just have to take your loan originator's word for it. It is by law that we have to keep it on there in case 
Even if we got an appraisal waiver, it's needed at a later time. So it shows up there. C is a bunch of title fees, endorsement, mobile notary, lenders coverage, recording fees, settlement fee. Box C has got all those title fees. And then D is A, B, and C combined. And this is gonna be those three I just went over. Lender fees, appraisal, and, and tax service, and those kind of things, and title fees. So really, when you're doing a refinance, this is the side you look at and you go, okay, in this case, it's $2,832. What's my savings? What's my cost? In this case, it's $2,832. How long does it take me to recoup that cost? You know, let's, I think in this case, they're saving $300 plus per month. So pretty easy math. Within nine months, this thing is paying for itself. Um, but let's move over to other costs, which is on the right side of page two. And you've got recording fees, prepaids, and initial payments at closing. If you don't know how escrows work, title in insurance, then please look up a video on that. But this is where you're basically funding those accounts. You're prepaying, it's your own money. The mortgage company is just holding on to it. They're gonna send it to the county for taxes. They're gonna send it to farmer's insurance for your insurance. But this is this is funding those accounts. That's what the, that is. And then you get down to J and it's total costs of both sides. And you know, in this example, calculating your cash to close, it'll show you um, the payoffs plus all these loan costs. And here's your new loan amount. And that's how they arrived at this $137 back to you. So hopefully that clears it up. If you have any specific questions, I'm happy to answer them. But like I said, when one, you're reviewing initial disclosures from a lender, the loan estimate is where all the numbers reside. So this is what you wanna look at. Whenever there's changes to a loan, a new loan estimate gets triggered. So every time you get a new one, look at it. If you get the first one and it's like this where there's no points, and then later it says yes, locked, and all of a sudden you're looking at two and a half points, then you know you're working with Quicken. Then you know they're trying to hurt you. It was a good joke. Um, page three, not much. People get kind of tripped up on this because like, holy moly, total interest percentage is 59%. The, what's that reflecting is the total amount of interest that you'll pay over the loan term as a percentage of your loan amount. So if you borrowed 300 and over the course of the whole loan you had 200,000 interest, then that number right here is going to be 66%. I've seen it in the hundred, you know, above a hundred, but with rates as low as they are today, now it's 50, 60% on how it expresses right there. So don't sweat that. That's not a big thing. The APR is also on page three, which is your, your rate plus whatever fees expressed um, as, as, as the APR. It's not your interest rate. Remember that. Okay. So that's that. Any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Loan estimate, explained refinance edition. I'll do another one for purchase, even though it's fairly similar, just uh, to try to answer anybody's questions they might have on that. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. It's going to be over there. Watch my other videos. It'll be right there.